One of the common things that we see on the right is that they like to invert power dynamics and make you believe that all the people who really have the power are actually the victims and vice versa. The people who have no power and no money and no support and control no institutions, um, they're actually the oppressors. So uh, here's Matt Walsh. He's going he's gonna to lay out this dynamic in a way that is almost a caricature of itself. Like this is Matt Walsh parodying Matt Walsh, basically. But he's serious. He's serious. Watch this. So if you're giving $400,000 to a random homeless guy, the chances that you're throwing money at a crazy, violent drifter is pretty high. And even if he isn't crazy and or isn't violent, it, it's still going to be a disastrously bad idea in nearly every case to give large sums of money to a homeless person. As I tried to explain many times, most of these people aren't homeless simply because they have no money and they have no home. Okay? And, I don't, and, and anytime I say that, there's always the idiots who laugh. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean they're not homeless because they don't have a home? That's the definition of homeless. No, you morons. Give them money and a home and they'll be homeless again 15 minutes later. Do you understand that? So that clearly shows that the problem is not simply they don't have money. No. Give them money. Most of these people on the street have been given lots of money. They, it, it, depending on where they are, panhandling is, is, is lucrative. Many of them make... Panhandling is lucrative. That's what he just said. All right, let's let him finish. Most of these people on the street have been given lots of money. They, it, it, depending on where they are, panhandling is, is, is lucrative. Many of them make more money than people that work minimum wage and have been living in apartments. You know, it, it's, you can make hundreds of dollars a day doing that. Where does the money go? Where does it go? Does it, does it the magical money fairy come and take it? No, they spend it on drugs is what they do. That's why they're still homeless. They're not, they're not, they're not stashing it away and hanging on to it. So the argument he's making, he kind of summed it up when he said, if you give these people money and a house, they'll be homeless again 15 minutes later. So that's his view of it. His view is, it's almost like they're predestined or, you know, genetically guaranteed to end up homeless. Like, it's just a character defect. It's just a flaw. That's what's going to happen with them no matter what. That's the argument he's making. The problem for his argument is that this has been studied a thousand ways to Sunday. And the findings are actually astonishing because it's only a small percentage that fit the description he's laying out. He's making it seem like every homeless person is either mentally ill or a drug addict or both. It's actually a relatively small percentage that are uh, drug addicts or mentally ill or both. In the majority of cases that people are homeless, it is literally because they don't have the money and they don't have a roof over their head. So it is because of economic degradation that led them to where they are. Again, I want to be clear. That's not my opinion. There's been a number of studies that verify that and validate that. And by the way, here's something people don't usually think about, which is true. There's different stages and different levels to homelessness. So oftentimes the homeless people that most see on the street are homeless people who are at like the extreme terminal end of the homeless spectrum. There are hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions of people who are homeless and kind of couch surfing. You know, I go to my uncle's house this day. I go to my friend's house that day. I'm, you know, I'm trying to, to get a place. I'm struggling to get a place. My job doesn't pay enough. I ran through all my savings. I don't have enough money. You know, I won't get, I'm not getting hired for reasons X, Y, or Z. There are plenty of people who are couch surfing, who are homeless. There are plenty of people who are living in a car who are homeless. And these are like the earlier stages of homelessness. And then, you know, that final stage, which is when most people see homeless folks on the street, it's like, you know, they've been homeless for years, um, sleeping under a bridge, whatever it might be. But what he's trying to do is redefine it. It's not an economic problem. It's not a systemic problem. It is an individual problem moral failing, and psychological problem. But again, the facts butt up against the reality because the facts are, for most people, it actually is that they just don't have the money and can't get a roof over their head. And if you gave them... By the way, he acts like, well, if you give them money, that's not going to solve anything. Guys, we have programs about this. Remember the Stockton, California UBI program? The UBI program, people just got 500 bucks a month, no strings attached. In the overwhelming majority of cases, people spent the money 
on the electric bill, on the water bill, on food, on necessities. It was a tiny, tiny percentage that went to vices, like alcohol, for example, or gambling. So the overwhelming majority of the money went to the right places. Because it turns out, when people need help, if you give them a little help, it helps. <laughs> like, it works. It's spent on reasonable things. Now, is that me saying there's nobody out there who's homeless, who if you give them the money, they're going to go get high or whatever? No, of course not. But look, I got to be honest with you, even in those situations where you do give a homeless guy 10 bucks or 20 bucks and they do use it to go get high. If my ass was on the street for weeks on end, it's freezing fucking cold. I feel miserable. The least I could, I want is to feel a little high to take the edge off of the harsh, brutal reality that I'm living in. So I can't even judge those people. You know, if I was homeless, if I was in that situation, nothing went right. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm cold, I'm miserable, I feel like I have no hope. Why wouldn't I want to get high? So, I, it's just, ugh. The way he talks about this stuff. He said panhandling is lucrative. Imagine using the word lucrative. Yeah, you know, when I'm in D.C., I see it sometimes. People basically asking for money. Sometimes they're walking through traffic. They have like a cup out there. The idea that that's lucrative is preposterous. By no definition of the word lucrative is that lucrative. See, a guy like um, Matt Walsh, he inverts the power dynamic every time. So to him, you know, these homeless people, they're the problem. They're not victims. They make our cities dirty. They're disgusting. They're the problem with society. But the billionaires... The exploitative billionaires, they're, they're the good guys, right? They're the ones who are oppressed because the state wants to tax them so much. It's so unfair. They're going to take 50, 60% of their money. That's unreasonable. What victims they are. You see the trick that conservatives play? Because the reality is the billionaires are exploitative. The billionaires are oppressive. The billionaires have the silver spoon in their mouth, uh, you know, have so much material well-being, it's not even funny, have money they can't even spend in a given lifetime. And the homeless people are the ones who are oppressed, downtrod downtrodden, uh, swept aside by society, treated subhuman. So he flips the power dynamics. They do it with black and white. They do it with man and woman. They do it with rich and poor. And this is, I've never seen a more clear platonic ideal of that. Let's watch one more time. So if you're giving $400,000 to a random homeless guy, the chances that you're throwing money at a crazy, violent drifter is pretty high. And even if he isn't crazy and or isn't violent, it, it's still going to be a disastrously bad idea in nearly every case to give large sums of money to a homeless person. As I tried to explain many times, most of these people aren't homeless simply because they have no money and they have no home. That's literally what the data shows, that they are homeless because of that. That is literally what the data shows. It's a, it's a relatively small number that's mentally ill or drug addicted or both. But this is the... They, put that pathology on all homeless people so we have some sort of societal, systemic rationalization for why, eh, hey, these people are, are doing what they're going to do, as opposed to something that we could actively change. And anytime I say that, there's always the idiots who laugh. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean they're not homeless because they don't have a home? That's the definition of homeless. No, you morons. Give them money and a home, and they'll be homeless again 15 minutes later. Do you understand that? So that clearly shows that the problem is not simply they don't have money. No. Give them money. Most of these people on the street have been given lots of money. It, 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 depending on where they are, panhandling is, is, is lucrative. Many you can't make it up. Make more money than people that work minimum wage and have been living in apartments. You know, it, it, it's, you can make hundreds of dollars a day doing that. Where does the money go? Where does it go? Does it, does it the magical money fairy come and take it? No, they spend it on drugs is what they do. That's why they're still homeless. They're not, they're not, they're not st stashing it away and hanging on to it. These homeless people have it too good. They're living high on the hog. They're getting high. They're lucratively panhandling. Again, flipping the power dynamic in society. That's what conservatives do. And, uh, you know, it almost blows my mind that anybody could listen to something like this and be like, yeah, he's nailing it. Okay, dude. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.